This tutorial will show you how to load the rescue files and create hybrid simulation model. In this video, you will know how to load rescue files with grid, wells trajectories, then how to create properties for simulation model. Itemize dynamic model and creating relative permeabilities using Covey correlation PVT data as well. You will know how to load all available historical data. Now, this involves building history matched reservoir models with predictive capability and quantified uncertainties rapidly. Enabled by parallel processing, automation, and optimization, the value of T Navigator is an ability to have both static and dynamic model in one project using the hybrid format. Rescue files contain grid with porosity, permeability, net to gross, and well data. To build the simulation model, you'll need well data. PVT, relative permeabilities, equal abrasion data, and as additional options, VFP tables, LGR. One of the new options is disciplines working together in one window. When you first launch T Navigator, it opens into this window. To create a new project, go to Designer and then click the New Project. Save a new project to a folder as a sample, then click Save button. It opens into the window with static and dynamic models. In this tutorial, we're going to use rescue file, cas.data, and production data. It contains the historical data, oil and water rates, bottom hole pressure for 33 wells. Another file is perforation and well diameters. In the Rescue folder, you can see bin files which we are going to load to the project. To do this, go to Documents, then click the Import Data from Rescue Files using the folder with bin files. Click Open button. In this window, you can observe all static properties from the rescue. Click OK. Imported properties like NTG, Porosity, permeability in X direction appeared in black color. To see the palette, click Show Palette. To check the statistics of each properties on the left side, click Statistics button. Then choose properties you want to observe in the 3D window. And as you can see, Perm Y is undefined. To create a property, right-click then Show Calculations. By click the button, apply means perm y equals perm x. To create perm z, do the same action by right clicking, then click apply button means perm z equals perm x 0 0.1 in the formula window. To create a 2D map, go to 2D map. Then choose for instance average. In the setting, tick color by contour lines, color by mesh, or show grid lines. This is a faster way to check all of the properties from the static model and well's location. So we have all the properties like porosity, permeability, and net to gross with well trajectories. So the next step is to create PVT data, relative permeabilities, and so on to initialize the simulation model. There are two options in T-Navigator. First option is import existing tables or parameters. The second one is the fast one using default option. And here it is, the standing correlation for the typical water and oil properties. Then let's create rock properties doing the same action. Click on Apply button. Now I'll go ahead with relative permeability using default tables from Cori Correlation and click Apply button. Cori Parameters Water Oil System is added. Relative permeability table for water oil is added as well. The good thing is you always can change parameters by using default options. So let's change the residual oil saturation in the water oil system to 0.15, then click Enter. The graph has changed immediately.
Then let's change the water relative permeability value at residual oil saturation to 0.7, then click Enter button. To have a good history match, use the following numbers in Cori Parameters Table Water Oil System. Changing No, NW, and Capillary Pressure Oil Water System. To finish the initialization process, click the Equilibrium and then Apply button. Let's leave as default value for datum depth, datum pressure, and water oil contact. So we've finished with properties. The next step will be a well data. Click on the well data and then history data to import production history for each well. To choose the file from the folder, go to click Add File. Choose the production file from the folder by double-clicking or by open button. Then click Apply. The production table with number of wells, date, oil rate, water rate, and water injection in the project. Now let's import well events data. Click over there and choose appropriate well events file from the same folder with examples. Then click Apply. Select well controls and then production limits. Then click on Use Oil Rate Limit as a historical value. Then go to Use Liquid Rate Limit and click on it as a historical value as well. Then click Apply, Well Control Changes. You can also check and add time steps or change step length in the Time Step Editor. Let's leave as Auto Detect Date Bounds. So everything is ready. To build a simulation model, click on the green button and then click OK. The process of initialization has started. A T Navigator created folders in hybrid format of the model. Let's have a look in the sample.snf. The model folder contains data file with include folder and results folder, where all are files with events, history, and schedule. In the result folder, you can see INIT, eGrid, and other files. To check our history matching, click the red button Run Calculation. T-Navigator designed to maximize parallel performance on modern multi-core workstations and clusters. To check the parallelization of cores, click Control plus Shift plus Escape button at the same time. As you can see, CPU usage and calculation are using appropriately. The next step is to visualize graphs. Click on the graphs, then History versus Calculation. Choose the well to see the history match of liquid rate, water cut, and bottom hole pressure. Click the Down button on the keyboard to observe every single well. T-Navigator allows you to analyze data during the calculation. To select your own parameters, click on the green plus and choose manually parameters needed. For instance, oil rate calculated and historical or water rate. To save the project, click on the Save. T-Navigator saved project in the sample.snf folder with subfolders. For more information about hybrid format and advanced functionality, go to http colon forward slash forward slash rfdyn.ru.